Take now confidently praise, combating temptation with God's word. He grows spiritually through daily Bible reading, radiating renewal despite his scars. Juco, I can't thank God enough for my deliverance. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. That's amazing. Akeke, I've been praying for you every day. It's incredible to see the transformation in you. It truly is a transformation. I no longer struggle with those dark thoughts or feel haunted by my past. God's word has become my strength. It's inspiring to hear how you've been speaking God's word and refusing to be bound by those evil spirits. Your faith is truly commendable. Thank you, Juko. And as I've been growing closer to the Lord through daily Bible reading and prayer, I've noticed changes not just internally but outwardly as well. I can't believe how much I have changed. I am now a new creation in Christ Jesus. Your renewed spirit is evident, Akeke. Despite the scars and skin issues, you're shining with a newfound confidence. Yes, I am praying for the skin condition to go away. I believe that the Lord will make me whole again. I choose not to focus on it. Instead, I choose to focus on God and on how mighty and powerful He is. Nothing is impossible with God. I just need to believe that I am healed and have faith in God. Yes, I am happy that you no longer spend the whole day locked up in your room. Yes. I've been journaling my thoughts as I spend more time with the Lord. In fact, I've been working on something bigger too. What's that? I'm writing a book about my life story. I want to share how God's grace rescued me from darkness and offer hope to others facing similar struggles. That's incredible, Akeke. Your story will undoubtedly touch many lives and lead them to the same faith that has transformed you. Absolutely. I've come to realize that my life went off track not just because of the evil spirits that possessed me, but also because of the wrong choices I made and the bad company I kept. Surrendering to Jesus was the best decision I ever made. Amen to that, Akeke. Your testimony is powerful, and I'm eager to see how God will continue to use you to spread his love and truth. I have never felt so much peace, joy and happiness in my life. I deleted the numbers of all the bad people from my old life, cut off all bad friends and negative people, and I asked several people to forgive me for all the wrong things I did to them. I can't believe how light, peaceful and happy I am. I am very happy for you my friend. Remember that in order for you to maintain your deliverance, you must have a personal relationship with the Lord, obey Him, meditate on God's word day and night, spend time with the Lord in prayer, praise and worship, and read the Bible daily. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this newfound strength and clarity. Your word guides me through every temptation. I am a new creation in Christ, and nothing can hold me in bondage anymore. I want others to know that there is hope, even in the darkest of times. God's love can truly transform lives. Surrendering my life to Jesus was the best decision I ever made. He's given me a new purpose and a chance to help others. During one of his home visits, the pastor discovers Okek's completed book resting on the table. As he awaits Okek's return, he begins perusing the book and is deeply impressed by its contents. Okeke, I came across your book and I must say, it's impressive. Have you thought about publishing it? I have considered it, Pastor, but I think there's still a lot I need to do before I can present it to publishers. It's my first book, I'm not sure if anyone would want to read it. I believe it could inspire and encourage many people. You're a gifted writer, Okeke. What do you think about going on tour to share your story once you're fully healed? I don't want to get my hopes up, Pastor. But if it helps others, I'm willing to give it a try. Kindly provide me with an electronic copy of the book, and my team will do the editing, and handle pitching it to the publishing companies we typically work with. We'll also utilize various online platforms for selling the book. Rest assured, my team is experienced in this area. All right. Thank you, Senior Pastor. Some time passes, and Okek forgets about the book until the pastor returns with exciting news. Okeke, your book was well received. You'll be receiving a lump sum, royalties, and earnings from book sales. What? I can't believe it. I didn't expect this at all. God has a plan for you, Okeke. Keep praying for wisdom. There may be more books you can write to inspire others. Amen. To God be the glory now and forevermore. One day, a nurse comes to Okeke's compound to attend to his mother, who had missed her biannual checkups. During the visit, the nurse observes Okek's condition. O 
Keke, I couldn't help but notice your skin condition. It appears to be a severe problem that requires medical attention. I thought it was just the result of the curses placed on me. Also, the doctors and nurses at the village clinic said they couldn't help me, they only gave me something to manage the pain. No, this looks like a rare skin disease that the village clinic staff may not be equipped to handle. I strongly recommend you visit the hospital in the capital city for treatment. I didn't realize there was hope for treatment. Thank you, nurse. Maybe what you are saying explains why this skin condition persists yet. By God's grace, I believe that I have been delivered from all curses. Okay, okay. while the curse has affected you spiritually and socially, the skin condition is separate and likely caused by external factors, such as contaminated creams or food. I thank God for this glimmer of hope. I'll do whatever it takes to recover. There's a 50-50 chance of full recovery. Continue to fast and pray, and trust in God. I thank God for giving me an opportunity to regain my health. Thank you, Nurse Kiwimulo. Surely, the Lord sent you with these good news. Okek, wearing a black live and gloves, travels to the capital city with his brother for treatment. Okeke, we conducted several tests on you. The test results came out today. Your condition is severe. It's a miracle that you've survived this long. It's all by God's grace, doctor. I will give you a referral letter. You must take it immediately to the dermatology department. The dermatologist or skin doctor is waiting for you. We discussed your case and the team of specialists in the hospital are eager to help you. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate it. A few months later. Your condition has improved significantly. With regular treatment, you should be cleared in a few months. Thank you, doctor. I'll do whatever it takes to get better. Does this mean that I will have to stay in the hospital for a few more months? No, we will discharge you from the hospital tomorrow, however. You should stay in the city and visit the hospital for checkups and to collect your prescribed medication. Thank you, doctor. During his treatment period, Okek focuses on writing books and improving his skills as an author. Okek enrolls in online classes and hires an assistant from a publishing company. Mr. Mabson, we'll help you navigate the world of publishing and connect you with opportunities to showcase your work. Yes, thank you. With the support of his assistant and access to resources, Okek attends conferences, launches his books, and defends his work passionately. I trust in the Lord's guidance as I pursue my dreams. Every success is a testament to his grace. Despite his newfound success, Okek remains grounded in his faith, praying against his weaknesses and choosing to live for God daily. Children, look how far we've come. God has truly blessed us. Yes, Mom. We're all thriving in university, and your business is booming. It's all because of God's goodness and your hard work, Mom. Yes, I'm grateful for our new home and everything we have. We're truly blessed. To God be the glory now and forevermore. Amen. Let's never forget to thank the Lord for his blessings. He's the reason for our success. As a family, they gather to pray and give thanks for all they have achieved. No matter what. Let's remain grounded in our faith and continue to rejoice in the Lord's goodness. Amen. Together, they find joy in their faith and the blessings they've received, celebrating their journey in the future ahead. A few months later, the family intends to travel to Mano during a semester break. Kids, I'm excited for our trip to Mano during the semester break. We'll get to see your grandparents, old friends, and the wonderful people there. I can't wait to visit Aunt Nansabuga and Namukasa. It's been too long. It will be nice to catch up with our childhood friends. Yes. Remember, no matter how far we've come, we must always stay humble and remember our roots. Of course, Mom, we'll never forget where we came from. Namara's executive assistant takes care of booking their flight tickets and ensures a driver will be waiting for them at the airport. Ms. Namara, I've arranged everything for your trip. A driver will meet you at the airport and take you straight to your house in the village. Thank you. And please remember, discussing your father, Akeke, is off limits, even though we've forgiven him. With everything arranged, the family looks forward to their trip, eager to reconnect with their roots and loved ones in Mano. Years later, Akello, Namara's former sister-in-law, was surprised to find Namara and her kids in a neighboring village, owning a large plot with a beautiful house and running farming projects. 
Nadmar had also started businesses in Mano, including a shop in the village square selling goods imported from Navastria. Ekelo, it's been so long. Come in, come in. Indeed, you've succeeded in completing the construction of this building. Many doubted your ability to finish this duplex, yet here it stands, a testament to your determination. It's astounding to see such a beautiful home emerge in the village, especially considering it's your second residence. I've heard rumors about the mansion you acquired in Novastria, said to surpass this home size twofold. Yes, it's all by God's grace. Surely, the fruits of hard work are undeniable. Initially, we may have teased you for your dedication, until we recognize the achievements of the Proverbs 31 wife, who was not only diligent but also a prosperous businesswoman. This realization prompted us to see the value in contributing financially to our husbands. Working from home allows us to balance childcare, oversee household affairs, and generate income simultaneously. If only we had begun earning, even modestly, years ago, our families wouldn't have endured as much hardship. Yes, please take a seat. Wow. Namara, I can't believe my eyes. This house, this land, it's incredible. Thank you. We've been working hard. Let me show you around. They walk around the property, passing by the various farming projects. And these businesses in Mano, a shop in the village square, numerous farming projects. Namara, you've truly flourished. It hasn't been easy, but we're managing by God's grace. The children have been a tremendous help. Speaking of the children, I heard Kansime is getting married. Yes, to a wonderful young man. We're thrilled for her, and Kato and Waswa are excelling in their roles too. I'm just amazed. You've built such a beautiful life for yourselves. We chose happiness, Akello. Despite everything, we chose to thrive. And we're grateful for every blessing that comes our way. Namara, I have to ask, what's your secret? How do you stay so joyful, so resilient through everything life has thrown your way? Well, Akello, it's quite simple really. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Everything changed when I truly let him into my heart and my life. I chose to let go of the past raise negativity, and focus on working hard, making positive affirmations, and seeking his guidance in everything. That's remarkable. It's been my anchor through the storms. And his grace has turned everything around for good. I'm in awe, Namara. I promise to try and follow your example. I'll be praying for you, Akello. With faith, anything is possible. Now, let's head back to the house for lunch. A few years later in Navastria. Hello, Namara. It's been a while. How have you been? Akeke, I am surprised to see you here. Um, hello, Akeke. I've been well, thank you. Please, come in. Namara lets Okeke in. Namara and the kids exchange uneasy glances. I wonder what he's doing here. Let's go upstairs. Kansime must hear this. We'll greet him later. Let's go up before he gets into the house. Thank you. Your home is lovely. I can't believe that you now live in a mansion in Novastria and you also own businesses and properties in Mano. Thank you, Akeke. It's all by God's grace. I heard you are doing well yourself. Congratulations on the success of your books and business ventures. Yes, thank you. To God be the glory now and forevermore. Please, have a seat. Would you like some tea, coffee, soft drink or juice? No, thank you. I'm fine. I flew in to see how you and the kids are doing. Well, it's nice to see you. Congratulations on the success of your books and I see that the Lord has completely healed you of your skin disease. And yes, the kids seem to be doing very well. We give God all the glory. Thank you, Namara. All glory to God. And congratulations to you too. I've heard great things about your work and how you've been taking care of the kids. The tension in the room is palpable as they exchange polite pleasantries. <clears throat> Namara, I've come here today because I realize I made mistakes in the past, but I've changed. 
I've found success, and I want us to give our relationship another chance. I promise I'll never hurt you again. Akeke, I understand that you've changed, and I sympathize with you. But there's no going back for us. I've moved on, and I'll never go back to the way things were. I suggest you forget about us and never come back here again. But Namara, I love you. I've realized my mistakes, and I'm willing to do anything to make it right. I'm sorry, Akeke, but I don't love you anymore. I fell out of love with you a long time ago. If you must know, I've started seeing someone else here in Novastria, someone who treats me well and is a positive influence on the kids. I see. Well, I'm happy that you've found happiness. The only thing I'm grateful for about our relationship is our children. They are my joy and happiness too. They are the best part of what we had. But please, Akeke, respect my decision and never come back here again. Please leave. Namara, please, I beg of you. Can I at least have the right to visit my children? I miss them terribly. Akeke, the kids are grown now, and they can make their own decisions. However, I don't want them to have anything to do with you unless you prove that you've truly changed. But I have changed, Namara. I've turned my life around. Actions speak louder than words, Akeke. You need to show us that you're a different person now. I understand. I just, I feel so hopeless without them. I'm sorry, Akeke, but they need time, and so do I. Before I go, I want you to know that I've set up a trust for all of my children. It includes your children and the ones I've fathered with other women. We don't need your help, Akeke. We learned, a long time ago, to live without you. We forgave you but we want nothing to do with you. But thank you, as long as the source of the money is from your hard work and not anything unethical. I assure you, it's all clean. Please, can I see the kids one last time? Namara hesitates for a moment before finally nodding. Okay, one last time. But this is it, Akeke. The kids greet Oke coldly, their discomfort evident, before silently leaving the room. Hello Mr. Mensa. Hello Kato, my son. I miss you all terribly and I regret all of the bad things that I did to you. I hope you will all find it in your hearts to forgive me one day. We forgave you long back for abandoning us, bringing us into the world but not providing for us. We forgave you for not seeing us through school and for all of the unspeakable things you did to our mother, and for all of the shame, disgrace and embarrassment you brought our family throughout our childhood. However, forgiveness doesn't mean that we should accept someone like you into our lives. We don't trust you and we never will. Unlike other people, I always speak my mind. I understand. I am a changed man now. I respect your feelings. From now onwards, I will always be there for you and your mother whenever you need me. Hi. Hello, baby girl. I can't believe that you've grown so much. You're your mother's duplicate. Very beautiful. Thank you. I gotta go. I was working on something. I need to pack up before my husband comes to pick me up. Congratulations to you all for excelling at university, and congratulations on your marriage, Kansime. You were not aware of it but I attended your wedding virtually, and I also sent you anonymous gifts. Thank you, sir. Hello, old man. Hello, Waswa, my son. Won't you give your old man a hug? No, Mr. Mensa. I feel very uncomfortable around you hence, I can't bring myself to give you a hug. Mom asked me to greet you, I've done that. It's time for me to leave. I, I understand. I'm sorry. He watches them leave, the weight of his past actions heavy on his heart. I've lost them. I'm sorry, Akeke, but it's for the best. Yes, I suppose it is. Focus on God's goodness, Akeke. He has a plan for you. Thank you, Namara. I'll do my best. With a heavy heart, Okek bids Namara farewell and leaves her house. Vicky, the madam is not happy that we let that man into the yard. What was I to do? He claimed to be the children's father, and he showed me photos of him, madam and the kids. Jose, in the past, I warned you about this. You are our gateman and you are part of the security personnel on this estate. What if a criminal comes here and shows you fake photos of himself and madam Namara? Please don't do that again. I am your manager hence, madam will blame me for this mishap as well. On my part, I just saw the man standing at the door and I called the madam.
From now on, never let strangers, especially a keke, into this house without my approval. Yes, ma'am. We will be extra careful next time. Yes, mom. Sorry, mom. As Okek leaves Novastria, he carries with him a newfound resolve to make amends for his past mistakes and to live a life worthy of redemption. Though his relationship with his children may be strained, he finds solace in the knowledge that he can still make a positive impact on their lives, even from a distance. In the days that follow, Okek dedicates himself to serving others and spreading kindness wherever he goes. He volunteers at local charities, mentors young men in need of guidance, and uses his talents to inspire others through his writing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Namara continues to thrive in her career and in her newfound relationship with the nobleman. They get married and together, they provide a loving and stable environment for their children, who flourish under their care. Thank you for watching the final episode of Namar. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we invite you to do so. Subscribing ensures that you'll be notified whenever we release new content. Also, we'd appreciate it if you'd like and share our content. Thank you for your support. In the end, Okek and Namara's story is one of redemption, forgiveness, and the power of second chances. Through their journey, they both learned important lessons that shaped their lives and relationships. For Akek, the realization that his past actions had deeply hurt those he loved was a catalyst for change. His journey towards redemption required humility, self-reflection, and a willingness to confront his mistakes head-on. Okek learned that true transformation comes from within, and that the road to forgiveness is often long and challenging. Namara, on the other hand, embodied resilience and grace in the face of adversity. Despite the pain and betrayal she experienced, she found the strength to forgive and move forward with her life. Namara learned that holding onto resentment only breeds bitterness, and that true healing comes from letting go of the past and embracing the future with an open heart. Together, Okek and Namara's story serves as a powerful reminder that it's never too late to change, to seek forgiveness, and to rebuild broken relationships. Their journey teaches us the importance of taking responsibility for our actions, of showing empathy and understanding towards others, and of never giving up hope, even in the darkest of times. In the end, Okek and Namara found peace and reconciliation, not only with each other, but also within themselves. And as they embrace the future with renewed faith and optimism, they carry with them the invaluable lessons learned from their shared experiences, lessons of love, forgiveness, and the enduring power of redemption. Colossians 3.13 says, Forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Matthew 6.14 says, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Luke 6.37 says, Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Psalm 137 says, Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Isaiah 44.22 says, I have blotted out, as a thick cloud, thy transgressions, and, as a cloud, thy sins, return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Romans 3.24 says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 says, Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity inviteth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, bareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. 1 John 4.18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that fareth is not made perfect in love. Proverbs 31.25 says, Strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. 
And Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly, acknowledging your sovereignty and grace. We thank you for the lessons learned from the experiences shared in this story, lessons of forgiveness, redemption, and the power of love. We pray for all those who have been hurt or broken by past mistakes, that they may find healing and strength in your unfailing love. Grant them the courage to forgive, the wisdom to seek redemption, and the grace to move forward with hope and purpose. Guide us in our relationships, helping us to cultivate compassion, empathy, and understanding towards one another. May we always be mindful of your commandment to love one another as you have loved us. As we navigate the complexities of life, may your presence be our constant source of comfort and guidance. Lead us in paths of righteousness, and help us to walk in obedience to your will. We commit the future into your hands, trusting in your faithfulness and unfailing love. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Thank you for watching. Remain blessed.